King Rama X and Queen Sothoda of Thailand celebrate Asanabuka Day in Bangkok. Royals from Asia and the Middle East attend the coronation of the 17th King of Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. And Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco attend the 75th Gala de la Croix Rouge Monégasque in Larvodo. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for July 20th, 2024. Last evening in Larvodo, their Serene Highnesses, Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene at Monaco, and Miss Camille Gottlieb attended the 75th edition of the Gala de la Croix Rouge Monégasque held inside the Salle des Etoiles of the Sporting Monte Carlo. The Croix Rouge Monégasque, or CRM, was established by Prince Louis II on March 3, 1948. After the death of Prince Louis II, Prince Rainier III became the president. Since 1982, the sovereign prince has held the position of president of the CRM. Currently, Princess Charlene serves as a vice president, and Miss Scott Lebb is the head of the youth department at the CRM. The annual Gala de la Croix Rouge Monégasque is organized to honor generous donors and to showcase the work carried out by the CRM with the help of these donations, which finance its activities both locally and internationally. Guests attending the gala dined on delicious cuisine prepared by Chef Thierry Manzanares and his team from the Sporting Monte Carlo. Prior to the raffle, a retrospective film highlighting the 75-year history of the CRM was shown. Following the dinner, a raffle was held for the benefit of the CRM, hosted by television presenter Ms. Tatiana Silva. According to a CRM press release, six prestigious prizes were offered by major luxury brands as well as a bust of the late Prince Louis II by Belgian artist Mr. Vim Delvoy. The evening ended with a spectacular fireworks show over the Mediterranean Sea and a concert performance by Jamiroquai, led by singer J.K. In Madrid, the Royal Court of Spain announced that their majesties, King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain, will attend the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympic Games in Paris, France, on Friday, July 26th. On Thursday afternoon, their majesties will host a reception for athletes and coaches of the Spanish Olympic team at the Embassy of the Kingdom of Spain in Paris. In the evening, their majesties will attend a dinner hosted by the International Olympic Committee at the Louvre Museum. Prior to the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympic Games, their majesties, along with Her Royal Highness Princess Leonor of Asturias, and Her Royal Highness Infanta Sofia of Spain will take up residence at Palacio Real de la Almudaina on the island of Mallorca on Wednesday, July 24th. Somewhere in this big, beautiful world of ours, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Haakon of Norway, is celebrating his 51st birthday. Happy birthday. In Den Haag, RVD announced that their majesties, King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, will celebrate King's Day 2025 in Dutingham, in the province of Gelderland, on Saturday, April 26, 2025. Other members of the royal family, including Her Royal Highness Princess Katharina Amalia, Princess of Aranya, Her Royal Highness Princess Alexia of the Netherlands, and Her Royal Highness Princess Ariane of the Netherlands will attend the festivities along with their majesties. More information about King's Day 2025 will be announced in due course. In Luxembourg City, the Cour Grand Ducal announced the program for the upcoming official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg 
at the invitation of His Royal Highness, Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg. His Holiness will arrive on September 26th at 10 a.m. at the Luxembourg International Airport, where he will be welcomed by their Royal Highnesses, Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Therese of Luxembourg, and the Prime Minister of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, Mr. Luke Frieden. Following a meeting with the Grand Ducal couple at the Palais Grand Ducal, His Holiness will meet with government representatives of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and civil society. This will be followed by a tour of Luxembourg City in the Pope Mobile and a meeting with the Catholic community at the Cathedral Notre Dame de Luxembourg. His Holiness will depart Luxembourg City in the early evening of September 26th and arrive in Brussels two hours later. Meanwhile, the Royal Court of Belgium announced that His Holiness Pope Francis will arrive at the military airbase in Melsbroek on the evening of September 26th. Upon his arrival, His Holiness will be welcomed by their majesties, King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of the Belgians. On the morning of September 27th, their majesties will hold a meeting with His Holiness at Chateau de Lacan. From the Grand Gallery, His Holiness will quote, address the nation in the presence of representatives of the constituted bodies, the Catholic Church and other religions in Belgium, civil society, and the diplomatic corps, end quote. On Sunday, September 29th, their majesties and other members of the royal family will attend a Eucharistic celebration presided over by His Holiness at the King Boudouin Stadium in Brussels. This morning, the Belgian royal court released His Majesty, King Philippe of the Belgians, annual National Day speech. In his speech, the king spoke about the recent elections in the Kingdom of Belgium and the Belgian presidency of the European Union. The king concluded his speech by noting that the, quote, next five years will be decisive for the future of Europe and our country. There are many opportunities before us to strengthen our security, our prosperity, and the values on which our democratic society is built. Let us seize this opportunity with both hands. End quote. Tomorrow, the king, along with other members of the royal family, will attend the 2024 National Day celebrations and military parade in Brussels. His Royal Highness, Prince Gabriel of Belgium, who recently completed his second year at the Royal Military Academy, will participate in the National Day military parade. According to highly respected Belgian journalist, Mr. Wim de Hanschuter, Her Royal Highness, Princess Claire of Belgium, will not attend the military parade in Brussels. However, the Royal Court of Belgium just released the schedule for tomorrow's celebrations, and the princess is confirmed to attend not only the Today in Mass and Namur, but more importantly, the military parade along the Place des Palais. So, only time will tell. Hopefully, she will show up. Meanwhile, 6,365 miles away in Kuala Lumpur, the coronation ceremony of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim Ibn Sultan Iskander, the 17th King of Malaysia, took place at the Astana Negara. The 65-year-old billionaire king from the southern Malaysian state of Johor took the oath of office as the 17th king of Malaysia on January 31st, 2024, in the presence of the seven sultans, one raja, and one grand ruler of the Malay states. Over 700 guests from around the world attended the ceremony, including His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa Bahrain, Their Majesties Sultan Hassan al Bolkia and Queen Salia of Brunei, and their Royal Highnesses Prince Abdul Mateen and Princess Anisha Rosna of Brunei. According to the Associated Press, the ceremony began with His Majesty the King receiving a quote, copy of the Quran, and then kissed it. The monarch received a gold dagger, a symbol of power. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim then pledged his government's loyalty, and said the royal institution was a pillar of strength for the nation. He then proclaimed 
Sultan Ibrahim as Malaysia's new king. End quote. In the evening, a lavish gala banquet was held in the Grand Main Dining Hall at the Astana Nagara. Over 650 guests attended the gala, including the 17th King of Malaysia's sons, daughter, son-in-law, and daughter-in-law. And finally, in Bangkok, their majesties, King Rama X and Queen Sothada of Thailand, arrived at the Temple of the Emerald Buddha at the Grand Palace to participate in the royal merit-making ceremony on the occasion of Asana Buddha Day and Buddhist Lent. According to a press release, Asana Buddha Day is a Buddhist festival celebrated on the full moon of the eighth lunar month, typically falling in July each year. Quote, This religious festival honors the Buddha and commemorates his first ever sermon and the establishment of the Buddha's Sangha, known as the Four Noble Truths. End quote. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back on Monday, July 22nd, with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful weekend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you like, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And I will see you all on Monday. Take care.